Hey there, this is Nils Beardford, and today we are building a leather book. Usually I would start by printing out the pattern, but this time I tried marking the pattern directly on the leather with a laser. To see how I usually do it, just check out one of my other videos. After marking, I moisten the leather completely from both sides. I cut away any excess leather along the edge and then start tooling. With the swivel knife, I cut along the edges that I want to bevel. For most of the tooling on the book, the stamps are enough. While the leather is still moist, I punch all the holes with a hole punch. This way, the hole will already get a little bit burnished. Since I want the hearts to be 3D, I use a circle cutter to get rid of the hole in the middle, but you also can simply use a knife. And then I bevel and burnish the edge of the hole. Symmetry and exact measurements are very important on a book, so I trace the back of the book to the other side and draw a line on the flash side and being extra careful and exact to make sure everything lines up. On this line on the flash side I cut a groove on both sides. This is where the front and back will be bent. For the inside of the book, just take the cover and trace front or back on the leather roughly, cut it out and cut one perfectly straight edge. For the closures, cut a strap about 15 cm long and as thick as you like. Moisture and two of them as well. For dyeing, I use spray gun, which gives me all the tools that I need to get exactly the color that I want. If you want to find out how to make this 3D heart, check out the video on the top right corner. I also apply a thin coat of resist. Position the heart, mark the edge, cut it out roughly and rough up the edges for the glue to better stick. Putting on some glue, position the hearts and trace in parallel line to the edge, all for sewing. Using some glue or screw stopper on the Sam Brown in rivets and screw them in. You can cut away some of the excess leather around the hearts to make sure they will not stick out. Now is the time to assemble the cover and its inner piece, so put some contact cement along the edges or on the whole area and carefully after a few minutes of drying time put them together. And then start punching some sewing holes and sew both pieces permanently together. I personally like to not punch all the way through and use a sword R for the rest, which gives the back side a cleaner look. Mm -hmm. 
Now you can cut away the excess leather on the inside of the book. Ideally you cut away about half a millimeter of the cover itself so that the edges are perfectly aligned. Then you want to bevel, sand, re-dye and burnish the edges. Wash on the inside back of the book and use a bone folder to deepen the grooves that you cut in, which makes bending easier. Next we want to re-punch the rivet holes all the way through and set the rivets. Optionally you can add a coat of neat foot oil, which will make the leather feel a little bit more smooth and gives it a nice smell. To hold the book or the booklets in, I use some rubber bands through the holes and this way you can easily exchange and replace the inside of the book. Punching some holes into the closures and attach them with rivets on the book. Make sure that they have a perfect right angle. For exact measurements, put in whatever you want to put in and then press the closures on the Sam Brown rivets to mark where the hole should be, cut through with an awl, transfer it to the other closure and then punch the hole with a hole punch, show like shown. And that's it already. For this build, the most important part is to get your right angles correct and your good measurements. You don't necessarily need a pattern for this. Just take whatever book you want to cover and add up to 5 millimeters on each edge and you're good to go. I hope you enjoyed this. Leave a comment, leave a like. Check out my other videos and my patterns in my shop and see you guys next time. Have a great day.